Good to see you again, Harita. So I see we have an appointment today for another medical examination. Yes. It's been about a month since I last saw you. Mm -hmm. Has anything changed? Yeah, so the tingling sensation that I was talking about that was in my feet, I kind of feel it like now in my knees. Okay, so you mentioned the tingling sensation last time and I did yes. a neurological assessment and that came out positive, no abnormal findings. So that has continued. Yes. Okay. And now you mentioned that it's moving up towards your knee? Yes. Okay. Let me just make a note of that. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is that sensation? How intense? Five or six. It's not like extremely bad, but you can still feel it. Okay. Anything else that accompanies that sensation? Any blurred vision, double vision, hearing loss? None of that, no. That is good news. And how often would you say that you feel the sensation in your feet and legs? Um, usually every day, every other day. Okay. Yeah. That's often. Yeah. <laughs> and is it more so in one leg than the other or equally in both feet and let's say on my left on your left on more so yes okay so left leg and foot more affected do you feel any pain with the sensation no not too much pain so just a tingling sensation. Any numbness? Yeah. Okay. Numbness. Can you still go about your daily activities? Can you walk? Can you run? Can you... Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So you can sit up, stand for more than a couple of minutes, no problems. Are you on any new medication? I took, I started taking magnesium. Started taking magnesium, very good. That is for the sleep problems, right? Yes. Good, and is that helpful? It is. Good. Happy I was able to give you good advice here. And can you confirm with me your date of birth? August 3rd, 2000. Good, so long-term memory checks out. Have you noticed any blurred vision or double vision? No. No. Okay. So you mentioned no other symptoms bothering you? No. All right. So let me go ahead and set this aside. And I'll start by putting on my gloves and taking your vital signs to make sure we have a good baseline. Do you feel the sensations right now? Not right now. Any flu-like symptoms in the last two weeks? No. This video is sponsored by Brio a leading developer and manufacturer of portable massagers that has existed in the industry for over 23 years. Brio is a leading developer and manufacturer of portable massagers for personal health and relaxation needs. The massagers are of high quality, highly functional and aesthetically pleasing. Brio sent me their Brio N5 mini deep tissue neck massagers. I love this product. The massage heads find trigger points or knots in the facial tissue and gently apply pressure to relax contracted muscles, relieving discomfort throughout the myofascial tissue. The product's heating technology helps you soothe neck strains faster and more effectively. With 5D massage heads, the Brio N5 Mini can reach to larger massaging areas from the neck to the trapezius muscle and shoulder. It has an ergonomic design for a human-like massage experience. The massaging heads are covered with silicone rubber and are softer than metal heads, giving your skin a very gentle touch. There are two settings for you to choose from. 
a deep tissue massage mode to get to those tighter, deeper knots, and a soothing massage mode for a more gentle and comforting touch. This neck massager may be mini in size, but it's big in performance. Weighing only 2.75 pounds, you can wear it at home or in the office without any burden on your shoulders. Brio was also kind enough to send me their Brio Scalp 3 Trilogy Massager with red light and oil applicator. I simply fell in love with this product. It's the scalp massager I never knew I needed. With a 3 milliliter serum cabin in the middle of the brush, the Brio Scalp 3 can help you apply essential oils evenly and easily while massaging your scalp. The direct touch from the Shiatsu hands-free massage comb minimizes the waste of essential oils and prevents them from spreading elsewhere. The product replicates the soothing touch of human hands, enhancing the absorption through a revitalizing 360-degree kneading massage, doubling the effect of essential oils or any nutrient treatment. Unlock your scalp spa experience with these three customizable modes, soothing, refreshing, relaxing, and 72 massaging bristles. This massager is the size of a bottle of water and fits easily inside your bag. Never miss out on a good scalp care opportunity again, even while you're traveling. The IPX7 waterproof design of the Brio Scalp 3 enables you to use this massager for shampooing while taking a shower. You can easily place essential oils and shampoos in it and use it while you're washing your hair. It will also help you clear away any dandruff and wash out the remains of oils at the same time. Click on the link in the description down below and get your massagers today. Thank you, Brio, for sponsoring this video. Mm. All right, let me just move this on. I'm gonna start by taking your temperature. And is it okay if I remove the hair from So this is going to go over your forehead, behind your ear, 98.5, so you do not have a fever. Let's check the oxygenation. May I please have your index finger right here. Turn it on, set this down, just relax. Going to check your pulse. Good. Good. All right. So ninety-eight and a half percent oxygenation and eighty-five beats per minute. So that's all normal. Gonna go ahead and listen to your heart and your lungs. Is it okay if I touch you with my stethoscope? Okay. So just breathe normally, looking for any murmurs, any abnormalities of the heart valve. Okay, good. Now take a deep breath in for me. I'm gonna check your lungs. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. Perfect. Good. So heart and lungs are perfectly okay. Let's check your blood pressure as well. Have you had this done before? Yes. Okay. Do you have any arm preference, left or right? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this one then. So we're gonna slide this in. And I'm going to just cough it around. And if you can hold this for me right there, and then this 
charm right here. So blood pressure is 120 over 75, which is normal. Let's go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to make a note of those vital signs. So normal temperature, heart and lungs exam was normal. No abnormal findings, normal levels of blood oxygenation, and pulse with the normal parameters. Can you elevate this leg? Okay, perfect. How can you move it up? and down any pain when you look to that okay now can you lift this leg slightly by yourself and lower it okay so i'm gonna just do a quick visual inspection first let's check your knee so i'm looking for any Skin abnormalities, psoriasis, bruising, scarring, dermatitis. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, good. I'm gonna just do a little bit of palpation. Just measure your knee. Seventeen. Seven. Can you just elevate your foot a little bit so I can go across your knee? We're at fourteen and a half. Okay, now I can lower it. And over your patella, we have four. Four and a half, four and a half, okay. Now I'm going to touch you with the cold object. Do you feel that? Okay. Now I want you to just say yes when you feel it. Yes. Okay. So we have the normal sensitivity to temperature variation in the knee area. Now I'm going to touch you with something sharp that feels like that or something dull that feels like that. Just say sharp or dull. Okay, so the knee retains its sensitivity to variations of pressure, sharpness, dullness. So I'm not concerned with the innervations in your knee area. Let's go ahead and focus a little more on your cranial nerves, the rest of your cranial nerves. 
Can you shrug up for me? Okay, good. I'm going to attempt to lower your shoulders. Don't let me do that. Perfect. All right, you can relax now. And puff out your cheeks for me. Good. And unpuff them. Good. Give me a big white smile. Perfect. Now you can relax. Can you open your mouth? Good. Can you touch your the side of your cheek with your tongue? Perfect. And here. Very good. And raise your eyebrows for me. Okay, I'm going to attempt to lower them. Don't let me do that. Very good. All right. And now I'm going to attempt to push your body back. Don't let me do that. Good. And I'm going to attempt to bring you forward. Don't let me do that. Good. I'm going to attempt to rotate you. Resist. Perfect. Okay. So that is all good. Let's go ahead and open the eyes. I'm going to check the cranial nerves that control the movement of your eyes. And I want you to just look in the distance to begin with. Good. Very good. Okay. Now I want you to look right here and keep your head steady. So don't move your head or your neck. Just move your eyes and follow the light. Okay. So checking the cranial nerves that control the eye mobility. Now I'm going to bring this towards your nose. Just try to follow it to the best of your ability. Perfect. Excellent. So eyes are moving together, synchronized, no concerns there. Can you close your eyes for me? And tell me if you hear a sound with your left ear or your right ear. Very good. And I'm going to give you something to smell next. There is also a cranial nerve that goes all the way from the top of your head and controls your senses, such as your sense of smell and taste. So let's go ahead and test that. Can you tell me what that smells like? Good. So that works just fine. And I'm going to give you something to taste. So go ahead and stick out your tongue for me. What does that taste like? It tastes like cold water. Okay, very good. All right, Harita, so everything looks okay with the cranial nerve. Um, your knee also appears to be normal at the first glance. So let's go ahead and lay down so I can take a closer look at your feet. Okay, hurry down. So I'm going to focus on your legs next. And I'm just going to do a visual inspection first. So your left leg is the one that's most impacted. Okay, I'm not noting any discoloration. There are no bruises, no psoriasis, dermatitis or skin infections or conditions. So there's definitely no reason why you should be feeling those sensations that I can visually observe. Okay. So I'm going to palpate your legs and check for edema. No signs of edema are present. I'm going to tap on your knees 
your kneecaps, patella, and tibia bone. Did you feel any pain while I was doing the tapping? No. Okay. All right, let's do some range of motion. Can you raise this leg and bring it towards your chest? Okay, any pain there? No. All right. Let's do the same with your left foot. Flex it towards your chest. Any pain there? I'm going to check your nerves next and I'm going to touch with the same cold object. It feels like this. So just go ahead and say yes when you feel it. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Now I want you to say yes when you stop feeling it. So I'm going to focus on the phalanges and your toes as well as your ankles next. Okay. Can you push into my arm with your leg? Good. Perfect. And now again, push into my palm. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to attempt to spread your legs. Don't let me do that. Good. And I'm going to attempt to bring them together. Don't let me do that. Tibia bone, the phalanges are okay. Going to palpate your ankles. Okay. And I'm gonna check your popliteal pulse. Good. And your pitodorsal pulse. Okay, good. Capillary refills within two to three seconds. I'm going to check your nails. Go turn in between your toes. No signs of it. 
any nail clubbing or pinning. No moles in between the toes. That's all normal. Can you feel this? Can you feel this? No. No. Mm. Okay, let me take something that has a little bit more of a pressure. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay, just say yes when you feel it. Yes. Yes. Now I want you to attempt to bring your big toe right here towards your head. Okay, that's good. And let's do the same with this other big toe. Bring it towards your head. Okay, good. So I have here a tall object. It feels like this. Can you feel that? Yeah. And then a sharp object that feels like this. Can you feel that? Yes. Can you just say sharp or tall? Sharp. Okay. Tall. Good. Tall. Sharp. Tall. Sharp. I'm also going to check your sensitivity to vibration. Do you feel that? Yes. Okay, just say yes when you feel it. Take a couple of measurements of your foot here. Eight and a half. Seven and a half. Seven. Measure your toes to check for symmetry. And then the pinky is one point one, one point one. Very good. Okay, can you wiggle your toes for me? Perfect. And can you rotate this foot for me? Okay, good. And this one, good. 
Now I want it to flip face down so I can take a look at the plantar region. Okay, I'm going to begin with an inspection of the plantar region. And your legs in the calves muscles. And I'm going to palpate. And can you wiggle your toes from this position? Good. So that's a normal neurological response. And here, can you wiggle your toes? Good. All right. Now I'm going to touch you with a slightly sharp object. Just say yes when you feel it. I'm going to touch with the same cold object. Do you feel that? Yes. And this? Okay. Now I want you to say yes when you stop feeling the cold object. Yes. So, good sensitivity in the plantar region. I'm going to go ahead and measure your calcaneus region and compare. Four. 4.5, so a little bit of an inflammation over here. Seven. And the cross is eight and eight, so that's quite normal. Okay. Did you feel that? And that? Very good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check your sensitivity to vibration as well. So just say yes when you feel a vibration. Did you feel that? And this. Okay. And do you feel that? Good. And do you feel that? Good. And do you feel that? Now I want you to say now when you stop feeling the vibration. Sleep is good too. I'm going to measure your toes. Okay. That's 
on your cross between 10 and 20, 10, 15, 10, okay, so those are with the normal width ranges for your toes, 25, 20, 15, Okay, and let's take a couple of measurements of the plantar region from the top of your big toe, 21, and 21, 4, 4, 21 across as well, 20, Six, six, thirty-eight, thirty-eight point five. So good. You're very symmetric overall. All right. I'm going to go ahead and apply some oil and massage your feet a little bit.
Okay, Rita, so this concludes the knee, foot and leg exam for today, as well as the cranial nerve exam. I was not able to find anything neurologically abnormal with you. I think we should continue to monitor the tingling sensations that you're experiencing and maybe have you come back in about two months. Uh, but from a physiological point of view, everything looks okay. okay. Do you have any questions for me? I don't know. Okay, so I'd recommend that you don't work out too much. Maybe you don't wear high heels for a little while. Um, you don't take any showers that are too cold or too hot, just a normal you know, temperature. Um, and um, try not to change your creams, your products, like shower products, and whatever you're using in the bathroom. Um, and um, yeah, we monitor. Great seeing you today. Sounds good. Thank you.